Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to add transitions between your video clips in Blender. This is really a pretty simple topic so let's just head over to Blender and jump right into it. So here's a Blender project that I've set up for video editing with multiple clips. Um, I've actually also deleted the audio tracks to make things simpler. Now if you aren't familiar with Blender for video editing or are unsure how I got here, please make sure you've watched our Getting Started with Blender for Video Editing tutorial where we walk through everything you'll need to get to this point. Now, the problem with the way the current project is laid out is that there are hard cuts between the clips, so the screen will simply jump from one clip to the other, and the visual effect is somewhat jarring. For example, if I let this just run between scene one and scene two, you'll see that the video just immediately cuts over to the next scene. So to solve this problem, we want to add some transitions between these clips to help the viewer move from one scene to the other. And why don't we go ahead and start with this first clip. Um, instead of simply jumping into this first scene, let's see if we can add a gentle fade in from a black screen to eventually transition to this first clip. So to do this, I've gone ahead and first prepared a small JPEG file, which is this one right here, this black background.jpg. And if I double click and open it, you'll see that it's really just a small picture which is completely filled with black. The reason I wanted to do that is now if I come back to my Blender project and I back it all the way up a couple of frames in front of the first clip, I'm going to go ahead and now add this image. And I'll go ahead and find my black background and I will go ahead and add that to the image strip. And let me go ahead and grab and extend it. So I'll extend this so that there's some overlap between this black background and, this and the, the first clip. Now right now the problem is if I let this guy run, you'll see that we still get this hard cut in from the black screen it goes hard on to the next screen so in order to enable a transition what I want to do is at first I gotta make sure that there's some overlap between these so you see that these two frames they overlap from here to here and the frame that takes precedence in this case is the one that is the higher channel number so you see that channel number three is higher than channel number two so we start off with a black background but as soon as we hit this point it will now overlay channel number three and completely um, ob obfuscate uh, channel number two, which was that black background. So to make a nice transition between them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first click on the black background. This is the, tr the scene that I want to start from. And now I'm going to hold shift and then select clip one, which is the c scene I want to transition to. And now what I want to do is now that I've selected both of those in that specific order, I'm going to come up here and say add transitions and then either across or a gamma cross let's just go ahead and do cross for now okay and now what you see here is it'll add this transition here on channel four what this is gonna do is it's gonna blend between this black background and over to clip one and it will use this time to do that blending and it's gonna make a nice cross blend so if I back this up and hit play we can see how that looks there it goes. So you see the nice smooth fade in from black to the clip. Now, the one thing that's a little interesting about this, and I think we, it, it warrants mentioning now, is the order in which you select those clips matter. So again, this worked nicely because we selected the black background first, then held shift, and then selected the clip we were moving to. If we did it opposite, let's show you what happened. So let me go ahead and delete this transition. So if I want to remove the transition, I'll just click on the transition, right click on it, and uh, delete. Okay, and I will erase that strip. Okay, so now we're back to the situation of just hard cut from one to the other. Okay, what if we did it accidentally in the opposite order? What if I cl selected clip A first? This is the first scene that I want. Hold shift and then click on the black box. Uh, the black background, excuse me. Now, if I go here and say add transitions cross, let's back this up and see what happens. This is going to look totally wrong. So, you see that? <laughs> so, it went in the wrong direction. So, uh, um, I need to fix this. So, again, let's delete this. This is the wrong one. I'll right click on the transition, delete, erase strip. Okay, and now actually I think I want a little more transition. That looks like it wasn't quite enough time. So I'm actually going to uh, increase the amount of overlap between the black background and the next and the clip so that the transition goes a little bit more gently. So again, I will click on the black background, hold shift, and then click on the scene I want to transition to. And now that I've done that, I'll come up here to add transitions cross. And now let's go ahead and play this and make sure this looks correct. There we go. We got a nice smooth fade in from black. Now here, you see that was a hard cut. 
that didn't look so great. Um, so what we can do is let's go ahead and, well, for giggles, I'm actually going to move this guy up here. And let's keep a hard transition just because I would like to actually compare and contrast different types of uh, transitioning schemes in Blender. So this first one where we go from this scene to this scene is going to be a hard cut just for comparison purposes. So we'll let this go and you can see, yep, that's a jarring hard cut. Now what I want to do is transition from this to this, but we'll use a nice smooth uh, fade again. So again, we'll do the same thing. So I'll take this clip. I will move it. And I'm going to position them so that there's some overlap. And then I'm going to select the uh, clip I am starting the transition for. Hold shift down and then click on the clip that I want to transition to. And then come up here and add a cross. Okay? And let's do this for this clip as well. And now, just for comparison's sake, I will do my selecting. And let's go ahead and add a gamma cross. Theoretically, these two things are different, um, but I really can't tell the, the difference. In fact, let me flash up a screenshot from some Blender documentation, and you can see that it claims that the Gamma Cross uh, is a little bit nicer. Viewers seem to like it a little more, but again, I, I really can't tell the difference. Let me just show you. So this first one here is going to be a normal cross, and then we'll hit a Gamma Cross. And let me play this, and you tell me if you can tell what's the difference. That looked pretty darn great. And now let's do the same thing here. Uh, that also looked great. So <laughs> yeah, again, I can't tell the difference between these two. A cross and a gamma cross seem to seem pretty much the same to me. They both look nice, and they both gently fade from one to another. So again, let me just arrange some more of these clips so that they're all overlapping. So we have these nice. Um, uh, areas that were able to do the transition. So you can see I've just stacked up all of my clips and I've had a non-zero or a finite amount of overlap between each of them. So now, let's again, let's look at a different type of transition. We're not just limited to these crosses and gamma crosses. So again, I'll select the clip I'm starting from, hold shift, select the clip I'm going to, come up here to add transitions, and if you notice there's this other thing called wipe. So let's click on wipe. And you can see what this wipe does. It's going to go basically wipe from the top to the bottom of the screen to get to the next scene. Um, what's interesting about the wipe type of transition is you can actually modify some of these parameters. So, for example, let me, let me go from this clip to this clip. So, again, uh, select the two clips in the proper order. Come here to add transition wipe. And now, for giggles, here in wipe, if you come over here to the strip, uh, so you select the wipe transition, come over to the strip, come down to effect strip, and then if you come down here to see transition type, by default it's set to single. So single is that wipe where we're going to see coming from the top to the bottom of the screen. If you change this, you can change it to double. So now we see what does a double look like. A double comes in from the center, and that gives you a nice other option. So we can actually explore the rest of those just to make an exhaustive study of this. So I'll add another wipe. I'll come over here to strip, effect strip. Let's change this guy to an iris and have this guy run again. So an iris comes in from the middle. And the last option, if I add a transition, and let's go ahead and take a look at the clock. So the clock is going to do, uh, basically, it looks like a clock, and it comes around. There we go. And that's my last uh, clip, and that's pretty much, I think, a fairly exhaustive list of all of the transitions that are natively available. Um, one other last thing, let's, let's sort of do the opposite. We're at the end of the clip. Remember, at the beginning of the clip, we faded in from a nice black background and started our, our clips. Now, at the very end of the, of the movie that I'm making, let's go ahead and do a nice fade out to, uh, to like a white background. So, it's a very similar procedure. So, again, what I've done is I've gone ahead and made myself a white JPEG. So this, again, is a very small, it looks like it's 173 by 132 pixel. Real, this, the dimensions really doesn't matter. Blender will stretch this to, to fill the screen. I just need a little bit of a, a, a constant white background. So again, I'll come up here where I want it. I'll go ahead and now add that image. And I'll click the white background, add this to the strip. Oh, where did it decide to jam it? Oh, I'd put it down here. So let me, let me move this guy up just so everything looks nice. And again, let's grab and drag this guy so there's some nice overlap and again I'm gonna now do the exact same thing click the strip that I'm starting from hold shift click the the uh, the scene that I'm going to and then I'll come up here and add transitions and sure let's use a nice gamma cross and now when we run this guy 
it should now fade out to white. So that's beautiful. So tell you what, let me add, uh, maybe I'll add a soundtrack to this and then I will render this out and we can, we can take a look at what the final movie looks like. So to summarize, adding video transitions in Blender is surprisingly easy. First, you add video clip A, and then you add video clip B on a separate channel and position it with the appropriate amount of overlap with video clip A. Now, this is the only place where it might get a little bit tricky. Uh, you have to select the clips in the proper order. So first, click on video clip A, and then hold shift and click on video clip B. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and just select add transitions and pick which ones you want. So if you wanted to use a cross or a gamma cross, unfortunately there are no additional options that you can use to tweak the uh, effect. However, if you do pick a wipe, you can then go to the strip effect strip and basically choose what type of transition type you would like for that wipe effect. So, with that being said, I think this is a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. I plan to have a lot more videos focusing on Blender for video editing in the future, and I hope to catch you at one of them. So, until I hear from you again, I think I'll sign off. Bye!